Join, join us now on the markets. Tom Lee, uh, head of research at Fundstrat uh, Global Advisors, chief investment officer at Fundstrat Capital. And the list goes on and on. And he's a, a CNBC contributor, first post-election uh, ap uh, appearance that we've had. Um, you knew Trump was going to win. Well, the, not the, many people did. Yes, that's. Uh, I'll give you credit. Are you saying you didn't? Maybe you didn't say it in so many words, but you said it. Yes, I'd say that I we were placing a lot more weight on what the betting markets were pointing to, and so uh, and we, you know, when we look at all the deltas, that's and that you saw it in the Trump center. trade, yes. and you saw it in Bitcoin, correct, and you saw it in sectors of the market that would benefit from. That's right. Presumably, who, but who knows uh, from, a, from a Trump presidency. So 1,500 points a meet out of the gate. More to come, or are we already, we're already there? Uh, I think we need to respect this move. I mean, there was a tremendous rally post-election, and it continued yesterday. I think it really does reflect a lot of money was taken out of the market because of the uncertainty around the election. And now we know that because of policy changes and animal spirits that this is really going to benefit things like Bitcoin and small caps and regional banks and financials. So I do think there's still a lot of upside. I mean, small caps trade at 10 times median forward earnings. I mean, that's a... So, you did, so what do you think that should be, 12 times? I mean, what kind, uh, what's, the, what's the opportunity set in your mind? Well, s since 1987, small caps traded on a median P.E. basis at a premium to the S&P. The S&P is at 17 times. So I think small caps could, in the next couple years outperformed by, you know, more than 100 percent. And what do you think about some of the macro issues that I think create a, a different level of uncertainty? We keep talking about the bond market and what that might be saying, what you think is happening with gold. You know, are the bond vigilantes going to be this governor on whatever you think is going to happen in Washington? Uh, as James Carville famously said, you know, uh, the bond market is everyone's scared of the bond market. So that is something we need to watch. But We've had plenty of periods where stocks have risen with bonds rising. And I, and I kind of agree with Powell's assessment that it's not be, yields have gone up not because of inflation, but because there's sort of a change in growth expectations. Mm. I thought that a sweep was, for either party, was the death knell for the markets and frightening to all involved. And now we're getting a sweep. Why isn't it more frightening? Maybe a sweep the other way would have been a little more frightening to some. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think part of the reason investors are getting somewhat optimistic is that President Trump is entering office again, but this time with a lot more knowledge of how to build, a, you know, a cabinet and a team. And um, so in some ways, this would end up being more market friendly. And, and I think that's why investors are becoming optimistic. I mean, I kind of agree with the idea that there are animal spirits growing. we will never be deficit friendly, will he? I mean, he will be deficit friendly. He won't be, you know, I mean, if we cut taxes on tips, Social Security, overtime, um, remove yeah. the salt cap, extend the tax cuts. If you do all those things, that, that seems like... It, it's going to be very difficult to fix the deficit with just changes in taxes and spending. But it's probably why Bitcoin is kind of interesting here, because uh, it's potentially a Treasury Reserve asset, and, you know, as... If Bitcoin rises in price, it actually helps offset the liabilities, which is the deficit. So you were at 150, I think, on Bitcoin, weren't you? But yeah. Not necessarily by, by the end of this year, or I, I think six figures is still possible for it before the end of the year. Yeah. But and then more next year and the year after. Yeah, I, th I think because now you know post having and uh, now Bitcoin's becoming a lot more relevant, and I think maybe the regulatory overhang is, is diminishing, that there's a lot of upside from here, yes. Okay, S&P, um, end of next year. Well, I, uh, between now and year-end, 5 to 10 percent is More. probably the base case, just because that's the type of rally post-election, and we have a dovish Fed and, you know, the normal seasonals. Is that the right move right now for the Fed? I think inflation fighting... Uh, war is largely over, and you know the real rate is still too high. So I agree with Fed's view that we need to move towards neutral, which you know, which is towards three percent. So I think it is supportive of markets, and uh, you know, business investment has been constrained. So I think these things are positive.